Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We are here once again with One Card Dungeon. This time we are going to play the wizard. Once per dungeon level you can re-roll all energy dice. So we got our energy dice. We're all set up and 431. So I am not going to, I, I kind of like this, we'll go into defensive posture. They get to move three, I'm sorry, five. And they only have a range of three, so they cannot hit. Okay, six, four, two, one, I mean. So we are going to move here. Oh, crab apple pies. We can't hit. We can either hit or take a damage. So I'm going to do this. So we are going to take one damage. We are going to go on ahead and move. Four, three, two, yeah, he won't be able to hit me. Perfect. Okay, so good news. This goes down to one. Bad news, we do take one damage, and we go to our next turn. Oh, and this guy moves five. Okay. Three, six, four. So we are going to go on ahead and take this guy out. So that's the good news. Three, five, one, two. So he's going to move two. I'm mean, sorry, three and two is for five. Does not have the range to hit me. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. You may re-roll all of your energy die. We are going to go on ahead and do that. And I was thinking I wasn't going to be using that. So this is going to work out well. Move here and do one damage. Hold on. Before we move, we're... Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Do one damage. So we move the two. We have the four to hit. We have six, so he's. Not, I'm going to be able to block. And all I need to do is I will take my six, put it into the attack, and he's out. I've only lost one. I am going to increase the big D. We have two skeletons with a health of three. Not really surprising, to be honest. We have a health of five. Now they do have a movement of four and a range of four. Two, four, four. They have an attack of so we will put this here and here and we will move one up their turn two four two four oh time to roll a D, &D character perfect okay so they have 10 total, so I am going to take one damage. We're going to move two, four, shoot, do one damage here. He's going to move, going to stay there. 
and I will take one damage down to four. Once per dungeon, I can go on ahead and re-roll for one, one, two. I will definitely re-roll. Oh, it does not get much better. So. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. We can't hit. We're not going to be able to defend, so we are going to back up by one. That is going to require both of them to move. And they definitely have range. So that's four versus eight. That is two damage. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. Okay, three, three, six. So I am going to do an attack. They have a defense of four. This is down to one. I will reverse by two. This one is going to move four, two, four, and this one is going to move three. Otherwise, if he moves three, he does not have line of sight. So one, four, two. They have a defense of this one's out. Move here. Four, right? Okay, so he's not gonna be able to attack me regardless. Even odd. Even goes three, and that will be the end of his movement. He only has a range of four. There's three, five for a range. Okay. Ooh, five, five, four. Nice. So we have a six, a five, and a... So with our six, we're going to move two, four, go on ahead and attack, knock them down to two. We have enough defense against the five. Two, three, six. Again, we have enough defense. He gets knocked down by one. And this should hopefully be the last roll. 662 is the last roll. He is out because we'll do the damage of that. Perfect defense. And there we go. Level three. Three, seven, seven, two. Okay, since I only have two, but he. I have to move this up to three, so that way I can have a, f a third of a chance of getting it. And he has a five, and I have two. So, what I did last time was I kind of ran, ran around, and I'll probably end up doing a lot of the same this time. Let's see how we start. So that would give me enough defense does not give me enough to hit. And I'll just move here. He'll move three. Okay, so I have enough to hit. I have enough to defend. And I can move two, four, six. And I will hit him for four. That will take him down to four. He cannot hit me. Five, four, two. OK, 
Okay, so that gives me an eight. He can't me hit me, I can't hit him. And we're gonna use our card to roll, to move. Not much better. That gives me four, two, four. So what this does is this puts him out of range because he can move three, but only has a range of two, so I'd have to be right there. Six, five, two, perfect. Exactly what I needed. I'll move up by one. I will hit him down to three. And he can't hit me back. Mm-hmm. Okay, defense is going to go up. We are going to back up by one. Can I hit him? He'll move forward. He can't hit me because I have eight to his seven. Three, six, five. And we hit him again. And we get through defense. Down to two. He cannot hit me because I have a five. And here's our problems. One, two, four. So I'm going to put this here. This goes here. Two, four. He will move two. Oh, he'll move three. Means I take one damage. Five, five, two. So I am going to back up by one. He'll move forward. I have enough defense. Four, four, three. So I don't have enough, but I can do two, four. He'll move his three. He only had, can do that and he can't hit me. Oh no. Okay, so I have a three. I'll move here. He will move here. And we can't hit each other. Five, four, four. Two, four. So I'm actually kind of boxing him in. I'm kind of hoping for a good roll right here. You can't hit me. Oh, and we get the worst roll we can possibly. Not this. So we're going to move three, which is exactly what I did. He moves two and cannot hit me. Five, one, one. No, we're going to move back here. So again, I'm boxing him in. He can't hit me. I can't hit him. There's what we're looking for. So he goes down to one. He cannot hit me. Hopefully last roll. Yes, it is. So good news is 
He can't hit me, and I hit him. We're going to go up, because this is our 5-5-5 five, five, five guy. This is a pain in, this one is a pain in the neck. Because that range is going to hurt. Three five five. Two defense. Two attack. So I'm going to move a total of six. He is going to move a total of three or four depending on how you want to look at it and cannot hit me six five three goes down to four can't hit me six three three six goes there And I would back up, but he's not going to move into an area where he can hit me. So, yeah. So, nobody hits. Six, four, one. Good. One, four, six. Goes down to three and cannot hit me. Six, five, three. Good news. Five, six, and a three. Goes down to two. We're just kind of hacking at each other. He keeps missing. Down to one. Nice. And hopefully the last turn. And it is. Tack, hit, and he's out. So good news, I did not lose anything. Didn't even have to re-roll. We will flip back over to the spiders. And this time we are going to increase our damage by two. By one. We are here. And we have one, two, three. Um, let's see, where's three at? Five at. Five. Five. And five. Okay. So the good news is hopefully I have a little bit more control. Yeah, once they swarm, it's going to get ugly. Two, three, six. Six goes into defense. Two. They have five. I cannot hit. They're going to move two, four, five, and to here. Okay, six, five, one. So that takes care of that. One, move there, move there. So the bad news is I'm going to get attacked with 12. I have nine, so I am going to lose one damage. Okay, one, five, five. So we're going to take this one out and two or two, not going to make much of a difference. 
So he'll move three, they'll both attack, and I will lose one. Okay, here we go. Perfect, six, five, five, I really needed that. Okay, so I have nine, so I'm not gonna get hit. And I'm going to hit one for one. Two, four, six, so I can move two, four, six. See what this does, so this is going to do two, four, oh, crumb. They're both in range. But again, I have nine to defense versus an eight. So I need to be above a four. So I can put this here. Okay, so I'm going to go on ahead and take this one out. Two, four, six. And he'll move. Three, two, and cannot hit me. Not that it would have made it much of a difference because he couldn't really have hit me anyway. Four, four, one. So good news, he can't hit me. I move here and I can hit him down to one. One, three, two. I will be able to breach the defense. They cannot breach my defense. He's out. So now we're back to the problem. We've got the seven guy come. We've got the guy. We've got the guy seven guy coming up. But we also have this guy coming up. And there's going to be. I'm expecting. This is six. They have three points. Six, 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 and my four. Okay. So they have a four defense, they have a five attack, four, so I only need 50-50 that I can repel their defense. I am actually going to go on ahead and up this to four. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to get to a 50-50 next time that I'll be able to defend. Because so I'm assuming I'm going to have to heal after this. So they have a maximum of 12 to hit with. So I'm going to definitely have to take somebody out sooner rather than later. Okay, so if I move two, four, six, okay. They have a four D, okay. And I have eight, they're going to attack and I'm gonna still lose the damage. That's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Two, four, six. This one takes the damage. This moves two, four. This moves two, four. Cannot hit, because no line of sight. And I take one damage. Oh, this is gonna get ugly really quick. Four, three, two. Or two, three, four. So this goes down to one. I was kind of hoping to have something to hide behind, and I can't. So here's the bad news. They're going to move here, and they're going to now have enough range to hit me. So as I said, that's 12, so I'm still only going to take one point of damage. Definitely a reroll. Okay, four, five, six. 
Okay, so I only need to have a four here. That takes care of this one. We definitely want to have a six here. No, we all we need is that. And then we can move seven. Two, four, seven. Okay, let's see how that's going to work out. They then go on ahead and move two, four. And he'll move just three. Or the two, four, depending on how you want to do it. Does have a range, does not hit. Three, four, five. We're going to move here. We'll go on ahead and attack. Makes an easy attack. This one will then move three. And even with the attack, cannot hit me. Okay, now I have to worry. I'm just going to say... That lets me get away, but they have eight, so I will need nine. I'm just going to do this down to one. He'll move here. They have a grand total of eight to attack versus my nine. I win. Four, three, one. One goes there for sure. Four goes here, three goes there, because this one is now out. I can, my six beats a five easily. He is within range, will shoot, but does miss. Good news is, he's not going to hit me from here on out. So I'll move here, takes him down to two. I have a two, five, six, we can see this on the screen, yes? Yes, okay. Yeah, this is going to be pretty easy because he's not going to be able to hit me. Because I have a 7 versus a 5. And he's down by 1. And he's out. So I'm down to 2. And now we get this guy. We're on seven. Seven. And seven. And we have two damage. Oh, this is not good. So they have a 14 to hit. but they can only move three. So that's that's the good news. We are going to... I mean, we've got to go back up to full health. I don't see where there's a choice here. Even if I went to a five... Yeah, I'm going to take a damage every time they come in. Okay, so I am going to roll. Two, five, six. Maximum of three. So we're going to move two, four, right there. Okay, that's good. They then go on ahead and have a movement of three. He'll move there. And he will move here. So like most things, we want to divide and conquer. Uh, one. Okay. There we go. Got an eight, got a seven. It knocks him down to four. He can't hit me. And this guy will 
go this way. This is kind of what I've been planning on happening. 442. So I do have an 8. But only 6 to hit, so I'm not going to be able to hit him. And that's that's it. We're just at a standstill. He moves two. Six, four, five. Perfect. Okay, hit there. All we need is that, and we can move seven. So we're going to go on ahead and hit him for three. Well, down to three, excuse me. And we're going to move here. He'll move here, because he only has a range of two, and he'll move here. No, he'll move this way. So again, dividing and conquering, and hopefully I'm going to be able to get this one down. Because if they come up together, I'm in a world of hurt. Okay, one, two, four. So this is not good. I'm going to go on ahead and use my magic power. And I have an eight, a five, and a... There we go. He's down to two. He'll move. Two. That's the end of their turn. Now he's not going to go this way because he cannot hit me. He's got to go up and around. Five, one, two. Hitting and killing is far more important. I will take a damage. He'll move two. Okay, now is where I have... No, I don't. So I have two more turns before he can get... Okay, five, one, five, five. One, five, and a five. He's out. Odd, even. Okay, he does not have the range. I will move here. I have a range of two. We get him down to four. He cannot hit me. Three, four, five. Again, we'll need a five to hit. We have the eight and down to three. Three, four, five. I will take a miss on him, but he cannot hit me. There's our problem. So I am going to take a damage here, no matter what, because even if I move here, he can move here and has the range. So I cannot get out of his way. So I will put, oh, it doesn't really matter, because the five, yeah, it doesn't matter. So I will take one damage, down to four. Six, two, three. That's only a seven, so he's not going to be able to hit me. Three, six, six. Good news, he's down to two. And I'm still not hittable. Six, four, three. Good news. Cannot hit me. But I can not hit him. <laughs> oh, hold it. No, we do this to an eight, and I can hit him, and he does not hit me. Dice placement is everything in this game. 
Six, four, three. So, good news. We won. He's out. And we flip two. A seven. We flip to eight. Which is the five, five, five guy. Now, I'm assuming... But there's only going to be two of them. At least I hope there is. Hmm. Okay. I am going to go on ahead and take one more. The reason I'm doing this is when I'm on a one-to-one, -one, I at least have, I, I, I'm not going to get hit. I can't get hit. Game's pretty much over when I get it down one-to-one. -one. Bad news. Two, three, yeah, they're going to be able to double up on me constantly. So I am going to have to make a dash over to here. Okay, so I'm going to move four. He takes one damage. He's going to move three, two, and has a range of five and will hit me. So I will take one point of damage. Okay. Oh, I hope this is going to work. 541. So and now the other good news is just a one gets it down to one point of damage. Okay. So this guy goes down to three. And we're going to move, we have six, three, six. So I guess we play the Imperial rule, don't we? They're both going to move three. They're both going to be able to hit me again. I am again going to take one point of damage. Now for the good news. Five, four, one. I am going to attack this one down to two. Back up by one. He will move forward. And this guy will move this way. Um, it really doesn't make a difference. Oh, and this way. Oh, I'm only going to hit one. Okay. Come on, this has got to work. Doesn't really, oh, doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. This is good. So they're going to then, he's going to move here. That gets him within range. But good news is, they don't hit me. And here's the best news. This one's out. This now means he can't hit me. So that's an eight. He cannot hit me. And we are done. Hello, Claire. Can you please hop off? Thank you. Okay. Six, four, four. Nine. So we are going to move here and cause one damage. He's going to try and hit. Can't do it. Three, five, five. He's 
down to three. I'm going to imagine he's going to try and run. But monsters should always be attacking, so... Miss Claire, you're not supposed to be down there. Six four two. Can't be hit. We hit him down to two. Oh, ha! Huh. One two two, and I've already used it, so I'm. He can't hit me, and I can't hit him. Uh, two, four, five. He's down to one. Can't hit me. And six. And he's out. So back to the spiders. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Trying to hit me all the time. All right, this is actually working out really well. So we are probably going to have, this is level nine. 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 And I mentioned nine. Okay, so. They are going to have 12 to hit with, 16 to hit with. They have a movement of 5 and a range of 3, which means they can hit me orthogonally. So I am actually going to move this up to 6 because when we get over here, he's not going to be able to hit me at all. As much as I'd like that at 6, I've got to heal. So, if I can pull this off, the good news is I don't think anybody can get more than three at a time at me. So, we'll see how this goes. Okay, one, six, six. This is pretty darn easy. We'll move here. This will go down to one. It's then we're going to go on ahead and they have five movement. So it's four. And so in theory, he's going to go this way because I move all five spots and go around here because that's the only way they can attack me all four at one time. So what we're going to go on ahead and do is we attacked for a total of 8. We have 11. So I do not take any damage. Right, 3. Yep, he can't hit me. <clears throat> 2, 3, 6. Okay, so this is pretty easy again. So we're going to hit here. That's 1 out. We're going to back up with our movement. He'll move down, he'll move down, and he'll come down to the end. So I'm going to have eight coming at me every single time. The good news is it's only eight. So this got, oh, we took him out. So that's done. That's done. And our, we have 11, eight to 11, we win. Six, six, four. So he'll go down to one. And again, we're not going to take any damage. So I'm actually going to get out of this without taking any damage. Assuming I keep rolling well. <clears throat> this one is out. This is going to mean he's going to go three and two. Only has a range of... Three, not four. Yay. Okay. Five, five, six. So I am rolling very well. He'll take one damage. And I will move two 
five. So I changed these two. So I tagged this one, not this one. He'll move three and actually take the three. And that's it because he can still hit me. But again, they have eight to 11, so we're okay. Now we're gonna get out of this without any problem. Okay. So this one is out. And we'll just move here. He'll attack, no damage. He cannot attack, he cannot hit me. I will block every single hit. So this level's over. Level 10. Okay, so we are going to take the attack higher. So that way we are far more likely to hit. We, oh, we are going to be able to hit every time no matter what. We're also going to be able to defend against one every time no matter what. But they do have a range of four. Two, four, six. We go on ahead and tack. That's two. And now they're going to go on ahead and move. So we have two, four, two, four, two, four. So I am going to be able to be attacked by three of them. So that's 12 versus 11. I will take a point of damage. Okay. 365. So we will hit this one. And we will move four. So again, I'm going with the idea of limiting. Actually, we're going to move the whole six back. We're going with the idea of limiting. So, they're going to move two, four, two, four, two, four, and three. So the Good news is I only have one that can hit me. So I will not take any damage this turn. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. We're going to do two, six, and four. We're going to move here. This is out. That's really important. And then they'll go on ahead and move. Move here and here and here. So I will be attacked by 8, 10. And I will not take any damage. Yay me. Okay, since I have them divided up, we're going to continue just doing this. And we'll go to two. They can't hit me. This is the only one that would legitimately move. He would move and move. Okay, so that's 12. So I am going to take another point of damage. I have an 18 and a 17 so far. I got myself a good D&D &D character going. Down to one. 
and I will also take again a point of damage So we're going to take this one out. He's out. That's 10 versus 8. I'm okay. Nine versus eight. This one will take two. And I am going to back up by one. So they will go on ahead. He's not going to move. He will move three. Three, six, five. So good news is I am not taking any. I'll move up, down to one. And he will move back to again, try to hit me. But again, no, we want it like this. There we go. Uh, it still wouldn't hit me with 10 because they only have eight. Perfect, 266. Six. So, he's out. He cannot hit me. Level's over. Because I have five. Well, and I have a minimum of six. That I have a minimum of six defense. Eleven. Okay, this is where we're going to get into trouble. Okay, so if I up it by one, that gives me a one-third chance... Of avoiding two of them but also gives me a chance this is really tough and this is gonna be hard to but they only have a range of two should be able to keep them all away. So that means I need a four or better to hit. Okay, we're going to take our chances here. Here we go. Okay. Second to last level. Five, four, one. I'm move this way. Move here, move here, move here. They only have a range of two. We're going to move here. And they're going to here, here, and here. One, three, five. We move here, they go down to four. Here, here. This is going to be close. This is really going to be close. Four, one, one. Oh, I hate using that this early. Six, four, four. So this will go down to three. Eight. 
and we will move two, four. He'll move two, cannot hit me, cannot hit me. So far, so good. Four, six, six. Okay, so we've got a seven move. He'll take a damage. We'll take a three. That's it, just a three. No. Just a three or a four, depending on how you want to look at it. Okay. One, three, four. I am not going to do anything. So they'll move here, here, and here. He cannot hit me. He can hit me, but he misses. I have a nine. Okay, four, six, five. Perfect. Okay. So this will take one damage down to two. We will move three, five, Seven. Nope, just five. He'll move two, he'll move two, and he'll move two. Two, three, five. Okay, so we'll take the eight. The five and the four. That gets this one down to four. Move four. He'll move three. Move three and move two. <laughs> one, four, five. So I'm not going to hit anybody, but I am going to move two, four, six. That will make him move two, three, three. Six, four, three. Nine, seven, and seven. That knocks this one down to three. Three. Four. Three, five. That will be it. They'll move two, two, and two. Nobody takes a hit at me. One, five, five. One, five and five. So we're going to move two up to here. That will knock this one down to one. Three here and here. Now the good news is the two who are orthogonal from me cannot hit me. Yay me. <coughs> Three, four, five. Okay. Four. Okay, so we're going to hit this one and he's out. 
we have four movement, two, four. And they will move three and two. Two six six. Okay, I was gonna move down here into that spot, but they're gonna both be able to get me. So I am going to move. And I'm gonna take another damage. Or do I do this? I can do three, four, five. Perf six, seven. <laughs> okay, so I am gonna move my whole seven. I do have a 12 defense, which is good because he'll move here, he'll move here. He cannot hit me, but he can, but is going to miss because of my defense. Good thing. Pumped up that armor class. One, three, five. So that takes him down to two. I back up by one. He'll move forward. He'll move this way. Uh oh. Spaghettios. Two. Three. So that's all I'm going to be able to move, and they're going to move here and here. So I get attacked by 14. This is why I have the six. So I'm going to lose one point. I get attacked by 14. I don't. I thought I said 16. Um. Three. So we're going to hit this one for one. And we're going to move orthogonal this way. Because the range of two, he'll move there. Only one can get at me, and he cannot hit me. So the good news is. Four, five, six. So they have a seven, put that there, five and a six. So this one is out. And I'm going to back up by one, two. Because he'll move here and cannot hit me at all. Actually, I shouldn't have moved. I, he, can't hit me at all. So as long as I roll a two, he cannot hit me. So if I roll all ones, I'm in trouble. So that takes him down to three. So that's the bad news there. I'm just gonna sit there. He still can't hit me. One, four, six. Good. Six, four, and a one. Takes him down to two. Five, six, six. Another seventeen. There we go. Five, six, six. Doesn't really matter how it goes. That'll be a one. And as long as this is not all one, we're okay. Oh, but we still, no, we still got to do it again. I have a defense. I don't have a hit. 4-4. Four, four. That will do. That takes them out. So we are down to two, and we are moving two to all fives. Last level of the dungeon. So now the question becomes So 
so they can deliver 15 points. If they are all next to me, there's nothing I can do about it. They are going to hit me for at least one. Good news is they can't hit me for three, <laughs> no matter what. I am going to have to heal. So I'm going to do a lot of what I just did last turn, which is a lot of movement. And keep in mind, they do have a nice range. So that's... Ooh, bummer. So, four, five, seven. And we hit this one for one point. Okay, so here they come. So there's three, four, five, three, four, five, and there's your 15 right there. So the good, oh, oh, I should have had the six. That's five, four. Okay, here we go. We're gonna use our wizard. Six, five, three. Three goes here. Nope. Five goes there. Six goes there. So what we're going to do is going to hit this one again for three. And then we will move two, four. Three. Six. That will get him move there, and he would move there. So good news is it's only ten points to damage me, but I have an eleven defense. Five and a six. So this one will take a damage. And I will move here. Three, four, five, three. Can't hit me. Three and can hit me. But I didn't take any damage. Oh no. One, three, three. So I'm going to move two, I'm going to take two points of damage, two, four, hold on, I'm going to take two points of damage no matter what, 15 to nine, no. No, because one of them's automatically eliminated. So that's. Yeah, it's two points of damage. Okay. Okay, we're going to do this. He'll move three, two. There, everybody is now within range. Okay, so I take two points of damage. Six, six, one. Two, three, four. That'd be five, six, seven. Okay. So they don't want to do that. Okay, so we're going to move here for seven. We can't hit. He's going to move. 
Oh, shoot. Nope, but I only take one point of damage is the good news. And he'll move there. Three, three, one. Here, five, three, and I take a loss. Oh, this was so close. Well, thank you. I hope you have enjoyed this. This is like my 10th time through. I still have yet to have a win. So thank you. Please make sure that you like and subscribe. Come back later. And I hope that you have an absolutely great day. Please like and subscribe and check out that next video.